What is nothing? Is it the absence of everything? A void waiting to be filled? Or is it something altogether different? A profound concept that challenges the very boundaries of our understanding. Today, we're exploring one of the most puzzling questions in science and philosophy, what is nothing? To most of us, nothing feels simple. It's emptiness, a complete lack of anything. Imagine an empty jar or a silent pause in a conversation. We often associate nothingness with these absences. But as we'll see, the deeper we go, the harder it is to define nothing. Let's start with philosophy. The idea of nothingness has fascinated thinkers for millennia. Ancient Greeks, like Parmenides, argued that nothing cannot exist, because to talk about it, even as an idea, gives it a kind of existence. On the other hand, modern philosophers like Jean-Paul Sartre and Martin Heidegger explored nothingness as a state of being, a necessary contrast to something. Sartre famously wrote that nothingness lies at the heart of human freedom, but philosophy doesn't stop there. It asks, is the concept of nothing just a human construct? a way for us to label the absence of what we can perceive. Now let's turn to physics, where nothing takes on an entirely different meaning. At first glance, space might seem like the ultimate example of nothing, a vast, empty void. But physicists know better. Even in the most empty regions of space, there's always something. Quantum fields ripple through what appears to be a vacuum. Particles pop in and out of existence a phenomenon called quantum fluctuations. So, even in a vacuum, nothing is teeming with activity. And what about the Big Bang? Before the universe began, was there truly nothing? Some theories suggest that even nothing has potential energy, a kind of latent possibility from which everything arises. Here's another angle. Can we, as humans, ever truly experience nothing? Sensory deprivation tanks come close. They remove sound, light, and physical sensations. Yet, even then, the mind fills the void with thoughts, memories, or hallucinations. Meditation also aims to quiet the mind, but achieving a state of pure nothingness, a complete absence of thought, is incredibly elusive. Perhaps our brains are wired to resist nothingness, always seeking patterns, meaning, or activity. So why should we care about nothing? Because exploring nothing helps us understand everything. Philosophy uses it to question existence, identity, and meaning. Physics uses it to study the origins and structure of the universe. And in our personal lives, moments of stillness, moments that feel like nothing, are often where creativity and insight emerge. Nothing might not be empty after all. It might be full of possibility. Nothingness isn't the absence of meaning, it's the space where meaning begins. So, next time you look up at the stars and feel the weight of the void, remember, even in nothing, there's something worth pondering. Thanks for watching.